Good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here at Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. You know, as we go through the book of Proverbs, we see so much practical wisdom laid out. In fact, why we love going through Proverbs for our devotional series here today. And, and if you're a parent of children, today is going to be especially practical and helpful for your life because it's talking about how we set up our children for a later blessing and prospering. See, in Proverbs chapter 13, we see this. It says, whoever spares the rod hates his son, be he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. See, the, the topic of discipline can be incredibly difficult and controversial to discuss, but here in Proverbs, it lays out the fact that if we love and care for our children, we are diligent to discipline them. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. First, uh, the, the fact is that discipline at its nature is intended to help prevent destructive or harmful behavior. Discipline is not to be out of our parents' frustration or, or angst with our children, but is aimed at helping our children prosper in the future by training them to avoid harmful behavior. So at its nature, discipline is a productive activity. And that's why in scripture you see that the Lord disciplines his people. In fact, it's one of the ways that God demonstrates love for his children by disciplining them to help them experience the, the, the danger and damage of sin in our life. But unfortunately, our culture has overtaken the, the nature of discipline and has become more about uh, do, are we violent with our kids or not instead of how do we better equip our kids for the future. So let me encourage you to, to consider the words of Scripture here, that if you love and care for your children, you'll be diligent to discipline them. Discipline can take a lot of different forms and fashions depending on the kid, depending on your situation, depending on the, the issue at hand. But the, the key word there is diligence, being diligent to train them of what is right and acceptable activities and behavior and habits so that they can prosper later in life. So today, hope that you love your children well if you've got kids at home and are diligent to train them in the ways that are best for their future by being diligent with discipline because the Lord has modeled that for us because he loves us and cares for us. And I hope that you love and care for your children well in that way. We'll see you next time, Calvary.